Well, the tropics were very active with Barrow being the main story, and then things went very quiet. I'm Rob Ellis alongside John Erdman. We're talking tropics today, and John, you and I have been talking about how things are eerily quiet, but we think that at some point the switch is going to be flipped. Let's start with some of the conditions that are out there right now. Uh, the Saharan air layer, we've been talking about this, moving off of the African continent. That dust that we see in the satellite imagery, a sign of that Saharan air, which tends to suppress things. Now, John, that may be changing over the course of the next few weeks or so. Yeah, that's right, Rob. Uh, and this graph we're showing here is a typical hurricane season's activity. And the white arrow pointed downward is where we are right now here in late July. So if you notice the first few months of hurricane season, uh, there are typically storms and there's usually a, a hurricane, but it's typically not that active. Of course, this year we saw Hurricane Barrel, which basically rewrote the record books for early season storms. But usually June and July aren't that active. But notice once we get to August, especially mid-August, there's a sharp ramp up toward the seasonal peak in activity which is usually around the second week of September. Yeah, so, and this is something that you know you have know have looked into as far as if seasons get off to a quiet or a, a busy start, how does that impact the rest of the season? Yeah, so we looked at uh, roughly the last three decades worth of hurricane season since the mid 1990s, and we looked at how many storms and hurricanes occurred during the quieter times of this hurricane season, say before August, and then once literally it's almost like a switch the hurricane season gets flipped on usually around the second week of August. And you notice early in the season, there's not many storms here, three, three to four storms, maybe a hurricane. But boy, look at what happens during the active phase. Once that switch is flipped around, say, the second week of August, 78% of the storms and 89% of the season's hurricanes usually occur from that point forward through the rest of hurricane season. So that's just a reminder of how quickly it can change. And Rob, let's take a look at what happened last year as a good example of that. Yeah, I mean, things were quiet early in the season. We had a few named storms, but really nothing to write home about. And then once that switch was flipped, the floodgates were opened and we saw name storm after name storm from sometime in mid to late August all the way through October as the list went on and on with name storms. And John, we kind of have the heat content available when things do become active. All the other ingredients are in place. Yeah, that's been the concern, Rob, is we have record warm water temperatures for this time of year over much of the tropical Atlantic Basin from Africa uh, into the Caribbean Sea. And this map shows the not just the sea surface temperatures, but how deep and warm the water is. And it's typically deep and warm over the Caribbean Sea. But all this is potential energy and fuel for tropical storms and hurricanes once they form that could become strong. So this is one factor uh, behind uh, what we expect to be a very active hurricane season ahead. So even though things are pretty quiet right now, make sure you have your hurricane plan in place. We hope things aren't active, but we have a feeling things will probably get more active over the next couple of weeks.